Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Blacklist Season 8 Finale Preview. I know there's a lot of people out there excited for what's ahead. I know that for some reason, a lot of people haven't seen the promo for this episode yet. Yeah, and I mean, we watched the promo last night, and there's, there's a little bit in there, but... They're not giving away much of anything. I mean, let's face it. This is Megan Boone's last episode. Presumably, Liz's last episode. Yes. So they're not going to really tell us a lot. No, but we'll, we'll talk through a little bit of what we saw there. We'll talk about the synopsis because there is something pretty interesting in there when it comes to Reddington's identity and all those theories. But yep. Before we get into anything more here, why not hit that subscribe button? Thank you so much to everybody who is enjoying these videos and taking part in all of these discussions. It has been a crazy, crazy last few days in it, the Blacklist world. It has been really fun talking to all you guys and yeah. hearing all the theories. So, yeah, thank you so much for, like commenting and telling us what you're thinking about it. it gives us a lot to think about as well and you know we've talked a little bit about megan and her exit from the show already but tomorrow yep we are gonna have a video up on the channel that is all sort of about how are the writers going to take liz out of this equation we're gonna have a number of different theories to go through there so be sure to come back and check that out yeah and of course we'll be here for the finale on wednesday but our coverage is not gonna stop there throughout the summer on fridays yeah. we're gonna have more videos coming up where we're gonna be talking about what we think is coming up in season nine what yeah. could be coming up for different characters stuff like that so be rest assured <laughs> there is lots coming Here's the first thing I'm kind of just like curious about with this finale. The yeah. title is Connets or Connets. I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically <laughs> it means the ending. Yeah. Townsend, it seemed as though he might be going up in flames at the end of this past episode. We never had a Townsend episode. No, we didn't. And I, I said a couple of weeks ago that I was hoping that Townsend was going to fold into the next season. He's a really interesting villain. And if they do decide to kill off Liz, that's going to funnel Reddington in a very different direction going into season nine. He has spent 30 years protecting her, working to make sure she's okay, the secret, everything. If she dies, there's going to be a battle going on next season with Townsend. If he just, like, blows up in smoke in the bunker, I mean, that's not satisfying. I... I could go on a lot of tangents here about blacklist numbers and how is Katarina... Do they do a mea culpa on Katarina being number three, given that that wasn't even Katarina at all? Yeah, I, I've always felt that the list is very fluid with its numbers, where it was kind of like... Liz was not always number one, but when it yeah. suited Reddington, she was number one. <laughs> okay, so... The promo that they put out for this episode, I mean, so much of it is geared about the idea of Reddington's identity because he sort of leads it off by saying, you know, who I am, it's quite a story. It is one full of ambition. It's one feel full of love and loss. And I think a lot of this sounds poetic, but guess what? James Spader could make a grocery list sound poetic. Like It's I, so true. I can't really take a lot from that just because, obviously, whoever this Reddington is, they endured great sacrifices. You're becoming a different person. Yeah, they have had a lot of sacrifice. That's why it's... We're all waiting to find out the why. Like, yeah, who who is the person? Very important as well. But depending on who that person is, then folds into, well, why did you do this? Like... Why would you sacrifice? If this was one of Katarina's goons at the fire, well, yeah. why would this person do this? If this is a brother or an uncle or a cousin, okay, maybe it's a family tie. The word that really sticks in my head here is ambition, because I'm not saying this is full, like, Walter White Breaking Bad's final season, where he's like, I did it for me and I did it because I liked it, but ambition suggests to me that Whoever this Reddington is, even if he is this sin eater, or even if he's carrying a lot of weight and burdens of other people, I think he takes at least some joy and pleasure in running a criminal empire and having all these associates and money. Like, I think it's something that they appreciate on some level. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think that he really does enjoy 
being a criminal. He's good at it. He likes it that that part of this 30 year project is something that he has really just naturally become part of. I just, I can't imagine Reddington just constantly like having like these big like metaphorical cinder blocks that are at his ankles where he's just like, okay, I gotta go over to do this to protect Liz because it's like he loves the finer things in life. He loves the fancy chocolates and the restaurant and like I, I think he does appreciate a lot of things that come with his position. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's, we'll get into the synopsis here because this is where... I've got at least one theory as to what's going on. Okay, so this is the synopsis. I'm going to read it off. I've got it up on the screen for you guys. Okay. So so it's correct and I don't mess it up. Okay, here we go. Reddington makes a disturbing request to Liz in exchange for the truth about his identity. So he's going to ask for something to get, you know, and then he will give. Yeah. Which is like, at this point, then I'm kind of like... Okay, well, how disturbing is this going to be? Like, why couldn't he have done this in season one then? If there's some sort of request yeah. <clears throat> that would make it that Liz could have the truth, like, could that not, could this deal not have been made <laughs> before she tried to blow him up in the car or yeah. blow him up in the hospital? Like, it had gotten so out of hand. It's a very good point. <laughs> I, I don't know the answer. I, I think it must be... Whatever this request is, Reddington must not have felt comfortable doing it until this point when he doesn't feel like he has anything to lose anymore. Like he said, his whole reason for not telling her was to keep her safe, and now there was no point in not telling her anymore. But it, the word disturbing really does kind of like send up a warning sign in my head. Yeah, the... the Okay, so I do not buy into the idea that they are going to recast Liz. I don't. Yeah. I do not think that that's happening. Part of it is because I just, I don't want to see it happen. I think it's just too, like, I'm, no, zero out of ten on this. <laughs> However, the word disturbing request then starts to make me feel like, okay, they're not going to recast her and bring in a different Liz that looks different, but I wonder if the disturbing request is you do need to change what you look like so that you can not be hunted down anymore. Uh, and I think that it could be something related to that. I, I, I think ultimately where we're going with some of this is Reddington will be like, I will give you this information you want, but in return you have to do something that you probably do not want to do. And the theory that I keep kind of coming back to, given what we know about Megan leaving at this point, is Reddington is going to be like, okay, I will do this for you, but in return, you have to go somewhere into hiding, you have to give up your whole life, you just have to go away, maybe Agnes goes with her, but that's going to be sort of the end of everything you know. And then Liz has to figure out, you know, is it worth it to know the truth about Reddington if I'm going to basically be, you know, the new Katarina Rostova where I'm off, you know, who knows where, provided that Katarina is not Reddington and just can't have access to anything anymore. Yeah, I mean, whatever the disturbing request is, it's going to be something that's going to completely change Liz's life in a way that she doesn't want. What if the disturbing request is... <clears throat> Liz, I need you. Listen, I, I, I. Where are you going with this? I need you to just say terrible things about all these people I don't like. I need you to run my restaurant. Like, what if it's really just? What a bunch is she of... running a Yelp review? <laughs> like, what, what if it's just something really weird? I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm kidding. No, but this is a joke. Yeah, it's just ultimately. It's going to be an ending that I think will be polarizing. There's no way at this point that you're going to make everybody happy. It's like with Reddington's identity. Like, if it's somebody who we haven't known on the show all this time, there will be a lot of people who are understandably very mad about that. Yes, like, there's been a lot of smoke around the idea that maybe this Reddington is a, a brother or an uncle or a cousin or something. And it's like, okay, cool, if that's where we're going with this. <laughs> How come there hasn't been really any mention of this this whole time? It's it's not really fun to be part of a mystery where there's not enough clues yeah. for the audience to figure it out. You have to give them something. You can't give nothing and then be like, haha, we got you. And it's like, well, you didn't because you didn't give us enough to try to figure it out ourselves yeah. and figure it out or not figure it out. You just told us nothing. Here's what I want. 
I want to have an epic sort of bait and switch here. It's sort of like when you see a magic act, like a really good magic act, and they're sort of like, focus in, focus in. And then while you're focusing in, they're like somewhere over here being like, and then they reveal it, and it's like big and surprising. I, I think they're intentionally trying to make people believe that Reddington is Katarina right now. There's a lot of clues, there's a lot of evidence of it, but I think while we're doing that, they're devising the real truth here, and it could be an awesome reveal, but there better darn be some sort of explanation for it and some sort of clues that none of us have just been catching over the years. I will say this, is that while I was watching that fire scene, I said this last night too, I am pretty sure I saw James Spader on the floor in that scene. There was a guy who had sort of the same build, the same back of his yeah. head, the same hairline, very quickly and they didn't show his face but i was just like oh okay so you know reddington was there he's he's right there and i was waiting for them to show his face and they never did and i was kind of like oh okay like am i way off then but then they showed him again and i was just like i feel like it's him i okay this is what i would be thrilled about but is... he should be younger back then but because they don't show his face and only the back yeah. of his head and his build it feels like it's very much him Maybe Reddington just bowled it early, you know? There's there's people out there who have that sort of issue, and you know what? Maybe he's just proud in his baldness. Here's here's also what I want with this. Let's say let's say this is correct, that that balding man in the fire was our Reddington, James Spader. What if there's been, like, little clues in a lot of these past episodes where there's just, like, some dude in the distance of various scenes we haven't seen, and they, like, go <laughs> back and sort of be like, oh, you weren't looking right here or right here. Yeah, because in general, people do not pay attention to who are the extras in scenes. Yeah. And if an extra is doing a good job, that's the point, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to be paying attention to them. If an uh, extra is being too extra in the scene <laughs> and you notice them, then they're taking away from the whole feel of the scene. Yeah, and so I, I feel like... We're going to get an explanation. I think we're going to learn who Reddington is in this upcoming episode. And I've never I've never been confident until this very moment. No, I I I feel like it's just going to come out. He's going to tell her. Yeah, I, I think he's going to tell her. We'll see an end to whatever Liz's story is for now. Who knows if she comes back at some point down the road. But Yeah, we, we have the, the other video that will be coming up. So, you know, you can get into that with us and all of our theories of how we think that... Liz is going to exit the show, or Megan is going to exit the show, or if Liz is exiting the show at all, because yeah. there's that theory out there too, so we'll see. The last thing I just want from this finale, I want some sort of suggestion as to what season nine is going to look like. Yes, it doesn't please. have to be, you know, they don't have to lay everything out for us, but just say, you know, maybe Reddington and the task force are coming together for some reason or whatever. Just justify why you're doing this. Yes, and that's the thing, too, is, like, are we going into this finale with no task force? I mean, it's hard to know because we are wrapping up the central story of this show. And this show isn't really about them working with the task force. It's about Reddington and Liz and the relationship between them and the mystery between them. So are are we going to see anybody in the task force? Is... Liz going to leave or die or whatever's going to happen to her and she's not going to see anybody, wrestler, not Harold, not anybody she has these relationships with. Please give us another scene with like Liz and wrestler and Liz and Cooper. It's like these relationships, we've invested so long in them. Yes. Just give us a proper goodbye. Is that so much to ask for? Yes. Or with Aram as well. I mean, he was so, the last time we saw them together, he was so disappointed with her. I mean, does it all have to end so badly? What if it ends with Liz being like, I'm sorry, Aram, I'm alive. Here's a croissant. And they eat a croissant together and they're happy. That'd be cute. This is the ending in my head. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> we'll turn this over to you guys for some thoughts some theories. Where, where do you think we're going? How are they going to set the stage for season nine? There's so many different things to think about. Yeah, there is. But remember, we are going to be here past the finale all summer, bringing you into the next season. So hit that subscribe button and stick with us. We're going to go eat some croissants now. Oh, I wish. I don't oh, think we have any croissants. If why only. are you lying? Ah, okay. Well, thank you guys. We'll see you here next time.